We do begin with tonight with another deadly workplace shooting. Eight people dead at a San Jose rail yard. Employees are evacuating to the parking lot, and it sounds like there may be active shots heard again just right now. A scary, chaotic scene becoming all too familiar in the U.S. An employee started shooting at that California rail yard around 6.30 this morning. We know eight people are dead. There are multiple major injuries. Investigators say the gunman, identified as 57-year-old Sam Cassidy, took his own life after killing those eight people. And as that was unfolding, San Jose firefighters were on the scene of a fire at a home Cassidy owns. Officials say the flames broke out shortly before the shooting. Our team is on the ground in San Jose. We want to get out live to News Nation correspondent Nancy Liu with the latest on this mass shooting, Nancy. And Nicole, this very much remains an active scene. The FBI, multiple law enforcement agencies here. A careful sweep has been underway for quite some time by bomb technicians because of explosive devices found inside this complex. As you mentioned, the first reports of gunfire at around 6.30 this morning here at the San Jose Rail Yard for the Valley Transportation Authority. The Santa Clara Sheriff's Office has confirmed a total of nine people dead, including the gunman, who has been identified as 57-year-old Sam Cassidy. According to the Santa Clara County District Attorney, Cassidy took his own life after opening fire on multiple people. Cassidy was a VTA employee, and the mass shooting happened during a typically busy time when operators and maintenance workers are prepping for the morning rush. The control center is where trains are stored and undergoing maintenance. Now, employees have been instructed not to speak with media, but one worker told the San Jose Mercury News, quote, the the whole crew is gone. The whole shift is gone. It's horrible. Governor Gavin Newsom was here just a short time ago responding to California as the latest tragic scene of a workplace massacre. But it begs the damn question, what the hell is going on in the United States of America? What the hell is wrong with us? And when are we going to come to grips with this? When are we going to put down our arms literally and figuratively, our politics, stale rhetoric? finger pointing, all a hand wringing consternation that produces nothing except more fury and frustration, more scenes like this repeated over and over and over again. I say that not as a governor, I just say that as a father of four. As you all know, a horrible tragedy has impacted the VTA family, the organization, and our whole community. And our thoughts and love go out to all the employees who have been directly and indirectly impacted by this horrible event. FBI not only on scene here at the yard, but also at a San Jose home believed to be linked to Cassidy. Crews responded to a suspicious fire there just before the mass shooting at VTA. Now that scene is less than 10 miles away from the rail yard. According to the sheriff's office, explosive devices are at the home as well. Now, it's not clear yet whether all of the victims killed were also employees. We do know that one person remains hospitalized in critical condition. Nicole. All right, Nancy. Nancy, very strong words from the governor there. Before we let you go, can you just describe this scene behind you for us? Yeah, this is the control center, the VTA rail yard, and you can see we're being kept quite a distance away. As I mentioned, that bomb squad uh, sweep is happening, so people are being kept away. Uh, employees have been ushered away as well. There are grief counselors on hand for them. They are in a building across the way, but uh, VTA service has been suspended for today. All right, Nancy Lou, live for us tonight in San Jose. Thank you for that reporting.